Hello, this is the Bible reading for December 22nd, 2014. I want to begin with Revelation chapter 13. The beast from the sea. It'd be a lot better if my computer light would come on because it's so hard to see. Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and its horns ten crowns, and on its heads a blasphemous name. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard, his feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him his power, his throne, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world marveled and followed the beast. So they worshipped the dragon, who gave authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And he was given a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and he was given authority to continue for forty-two months. Then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. And all who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now for the beast from the earth. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and spoke like a dragon. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence, and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. He performs great signs, so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs, which he granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast, and was wounded by the sword and lived. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all, both small and great, rich, poor, free, and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except no, except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number on his head. Here is wisdom. Let who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is six, six, six. And that was Revelation chapter 13. Now we're going to read Psalm 141. Prayer for safekeeping from wickedness. A Psalm of David. Lord, I cry out to you. Make haste to me. Give ear to my voice when I cry out to you. Let my prayer be set before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not incline my heart to do any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men who work iniquity. And do not let me eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous strike me. It shall be a kindness and let him revoke me. It shall be an excellent oil. Let my head not refuse it. 
for still my prayer is against the deeds of the wicked. Their judges are overthrown by the sides of the cliff, and they hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the mouth of the grave, as when one plows and breaks up the earth. But my eyes are open, you, O God, the Lord. In you I take refuge. Do not leave my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares they have laid for me, and from the traps of the workers of inequity. Let the wicked fall into their own nests, while I escape safely. And that's Psalm 141, Prayer for Safekeeping from Wickedness, a Psalm of David. And lastly, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 30, verses 18 through 20. There are three things which are too wonderful for me, yes, four which I do not understand, the way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent on a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a virgin. This is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I have done no wickedness. And that was Proverbs chapter 30, verses 18 through verse 20. Okay, guys, that was the Bible reading for December 22nd, 2014. I'll be back here in just a few minutes with the next Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.